You know what's great? Going to a game. You know what's not great? Parking at a game. With Uber, you can turn event parking into a non-event. Just install the Uber app. Into your destination, confirm your location, and within minutes, a car will pick you up. I know, right? With upfront fares, you can know the price before you go. And you pay with the Uber app so you can save your cash for the souvenir shop. So make tonight a fun night. Install the Uber app now and take your first ride today. Uber, the better way to get there. You are tuning in to Goldilocks Productions presentation of a magical journey show with Reverend Brian Rawls. Brian is a certified psychic medium, certified fairyologist and realm reader, light language channel, extraterrestrial channel, universal channel, certified angelic communicator and facilitator, light code and star chi code activator. Certified Reiki Master Teacher, Certified Esoteric Energetic Acupuncturist, a Certified Sacred Activations Mastering Me Practitioner, a Multidimensional Galactic Shaman, and a Certified Witchcraft Ceremonial Magical Practitioner. Call in now to reserve your spot on the switchboard. The call-in number is 657-383-1895. Press 1 to take you out of listen mode only. Enjoy this magical and healing show. And good evening, everyone. This is Reverend Brian Rolfe with the A Magical Journey Show. And we have a very special um, guest this evening, jammed full type of Sophia activation. So y'all are all probably wondering what Sophia activations are, but we will soon find out. But before we bring on uh, my... Uh, special guest, I want to make a quick couple of announcements uh, about what's going on at the Magical Journey. Um, I want to uh, let everyone know that is uh, in the caller and also that is uh, listening that the Magical Journey um, um, sessions and uh, also our all Magical Journey sessions are 25% off. And I also am uh, giving out a um, gift certificate um, <clears throat> for everyone that uh, calls in to the radio show. I will be giving away one free reading um, for everyone that calls into the radio show. Uh, I will be putting your name down and putting it into a bucket, and I will draw um, probably within the next two weeks who the winner will be. Um, but let me go ahead and give you a little bit of information about uh, who our special uh, guest is this evening. Um, our special guest comes all the way from Australia, and her name is Rachel Teolano, and she is a wonderful friend of mine, and uh, as well as a, as a client, but I would rather call her just a friend because she is really dear to my heart. And... Um, she is definitely punched, packed full of energy to uh, knock your socks off this, um, this evening. So um, let me tell you a little bit about her and reading from her, um, from her website, uh, thediamondpath.com.au, uh, which is the Diamond Path. Um, it has taken years of wandering the earth and seeking, learning, and feeling her way through this human life. It is only now as she reflects and understands why. Why they came to her, the Ascended Master shared the attunements and taught her all she needed to know to prepare her to serve and to facilitate our awakening and our remembering. And as of all that we are, she has learned her modalities both here and through the Ascended Masters in meditation. Toss, Mother Mary, 
Lord Melchizedek guided her for uh, through a five-year journey. She believes now it was all so she could hold the vibration of Sophia, the creator of all that is. She is humbled and honored to share with us all her vibration, activations, and teachings. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, bring on the wonderful Rachel Teowano that channels Sophia. Hey, Rachel, how are you? Hi, Brian. I'm very well and really excited to be part of the show. Wonderful. Thank you so very much for joining us this evening. So I'm looking at a list of your guides here, and they are by far uh, some amazing guides that I have also experienced myself, which is, um, I guess you would like to uh, introduce them. So that would be Sophia, Elohim, and Toss. Would you like to uh, give the callers, uh, uh, give the listeners a little bit of information about each one of them? Yeah, I would love to. So um, quite early on in my spiritual journey, I, um, a thought used to come through to me, um, and then I worked with him with the Melchizedek attunement, um, and he was one of my initial guides. Um, I have a great love. Um, with working with Thoth and um, it's extremely humbling and so I felt like Thoth was my master teacher and he then um, did a lot of attunements on me um, to then take the vibrations of, of my other guys and the Elohim stood back for a long time and watched me in my in my sessions with clients um, and when they stepped in um, so I could hold their vibrations and, and tone through their frequency, um, it really changed um, the level of work that I did. Um, they come through as like a warm embrace for all of humanity um, and you feel that as soon as they step in. Um, and then, of course, I am Sophia with her force and power and that feminine energy and she she um, changes lives she comes in and upgrades the frequency within the heart and um, connects people on a deeper level to all of humanity um, I so channel these diamonds, the pardon so the- So these diamond uh, activations that Sophia gives off, can you tell us a little bit about them? Yeah, so after um, the heart activations, the coatings of Sophia that come through, then the diamond energies tend to follow um, when the the body's ready to receive them. Um, The best way to explain it is it's it's like a gift from heaven. when it drops in, the cellular body actually feels it and it's effervescent and expansive and it allows um, it allows us to anchor in the, the Sophia energies and makes a transition to higher consciousness. Um, it sort of clears the path um, for us to walk our highest path in this human existence. Okay. And can you tell us a little bit on how uh, Sophia came to be as far as how she came to come into working with you? Yeah, sure. Um, So I was preparing myself for a three-day soul retreat with some clients um, and I could feel my energy body um, really detoxing and I was thinking, gosh, there's something big coming. Um, and I went into a meditation, um, and there before me was this force, um, and the energy flashed in front of me all these images of ascended masters that have walked the earth before. Um, it actually was really overwhelming, and I, I connected with you, Brian, if you remember, um, because I hadn't experienced anything like this. and. Um, from memory, you said you get back in there, girl, and you um, work with that energy. So I did, and that's when the Sophia relationship began. Um, during that retreat, 
um, I did channel her for the first time um, and it continues to grow so it's, um, it's ongoing um, but she definitely wants to get that message out, that remembering of uh, the divine feminine energy and is wanting us all to shift into that fifth dimensional consciousness through our heart um, to be all that we can be. Exactly, exactly. I do have to agree with you there. So <clears throat> so let me give you just a little bit of quick rundown of what we do here on the Magical Journey Show. So uh, I have a, a low, long list of callers that ha- are ca- have called in, and we will uh, first start with an area code. We, we will get their first name and their question, and either... Okay. I will, uh, you can take first and then I'll take second or uh, we can do a tag team, however you want to do it. Um, uh, cool. If you don't get nothing right off the bat, just uh, say pass and hand it over to me, okay? Sure, okay, thanks, Brian. All right, darling. So let's go ahead with our first phone call because uh, we got some uh, very, um, very anxious people on the uh, phone callers. I feel it already. So let's go go into the first phone caller, which is 856, area code 856, first name and question, please. Hi, this is Laura. Hey, Laura, Hi, what Laura. can we help you with? I'm looking for work. I'd like to know about employment coming up. Hmm. Okay. Would you like me to take this one, Brian, first? Or you are you? more than welcome to, darling. Sorry, I missed that. I said you are more than welcome to. Okay. Hi, Laura. It's Rachel here. I feel, Hi. Um, I feel like if you come into your heart, there's something you've overlooked. There's an opportunity that um, you've stepped around. But if you come back down into your heart, into that single breath, and sit for a moment and reflect, it's 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 already been in your energy field this this opportunity. Um, can you just take a deep breath in for me? Okay. Drop down into the heart. Are you a good communicator? Yes. Yeah, that's where I feel your heart, um, when your throat chakra and your heart connect, that is where your power is. So if you can do a job where you're communicating, bring in that heart and behind it. It's going to not only be your heart, but all that. Are you still there? Does that give you a bit of- does that give you a bit of clarity? You you kind of cut out there. Oh, let me repeat. Ba- um, Basically, what she's um, saying, um, Laura, is she's saying that the opportunity uh, feels like it has already uh, has already presented itself, um, and there is a time frame that I'm receiving. And um, I see, and she is definitely correct about the communication ends because your throat chakra does brighten up. And uh, once I speak communication to directly into your heart chakra, that lights up as well. So um, <clears throat> I would definitely say something to do with uh, communicating, communication uh, that has to be heartfelt, has a lot of empathy with it, um, possibly do something with counseling. Um, and I see this within uh, within a six month mark of this transitioning. So, or not a six month, excuse me, six week mark. So, within six weeks, I see something uh, popping in for you. But but it's already come around in my orbit. Have I? Applied? Yes, it has already came into your uh, field before. It has already came into your field f- before. So you may have you may have been in this particular spot. You may have been in this particular place in this environment, and uh, it just didn't dawn in, on you at that particular moment. Um, but you have already uh, have already stepped foot 
onto the premises of this opportunity before. Huh. Okay. Okay. So, well, uh, I, it's been... I submitted for a, a job that I thought would be a really good fit for me, but I think they passed on me, to be honest with you. So I'm not sure which opportunity it is because I've well, been playing in a lot of resumes. Remember what uh, Rachel said when uh, you first got on the phone? She said, drop down into your heart and look uh, deep within your heart and really feel for the one that, uh, feel for the one that you, um, that you felt you had. And that was that uh, particular one. So um, not meaning that that was the same one, but she, uh, basically the instructions here are for you to look within your heart. Turn um, turn yourself into a a person looking inward, not the person that's looking inward at themselves, but a person that's looking from the outside in, okay? Okay, thank you so much. You are very welcome, Laura. And uh, Rachel, how can Laura get a hold of you if she would like to um, step into a more in-depth reading with you? Rachel? Yeah. Um, how can, oh, you're fine, Sue. Uh, how can uh, Laura get a hold of you? Uh, any contact information? Yeah, sure. At www.thediamondpath.com.au or you can um, contact me through Facebook, Rachel Kalana, The Diamond Path. Great. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye. Okay. Thank you so very much, Laura, for calling in, and it was a pleasure uh, helping you this evening. Okay. And so, uh, Rachel, uh, Rachel, we are going on to our next phone caller, which is uh, one of uh, a very regular um, caller, and this mm-hmm. is the lovely Jay. Jay, what is your uh, what is your question, dear? Hi, uh, I wanted to find out if you could both read my energy and um, if you can tell if there's a difference in my solar plexus. Yeah, let me let me just see in. Jay, I feel are you um quite drawn to the divine feminine energies? I don't believe so. Okay, because um, as soon as you, um, as soon as I connected into you, the Sophia energy came right in and stepped in at the back of me. Um, so, can I just get you to ground? And I just want to do um, a little heart activation on you because she has actually um, summoned me to. Are you happy for that? Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you. Okay, so just ground down. Just feel your feet on the floor. Take a deep breath up and stop it in the heart. Down from the head into the heart. Take a deep breath in. Okay. Breathe out. And now just go into your chest and feel that expansion. Okay, great. Coming up through my feet. Wow, yes. Going to the heart and chest. Okay, so that, um, Sophia is saying it will take um, 13 hours to anchor in and be the new vibration that your your body holds, okay? So just lots of water and um, rest if you need to. Um, But after that time, you'll really feel that energy coming through the heart. Okay, thank you. Oh, <laughs> unexpected. Now, would you like me to go back into the solar plexus and see what's going on there? Uh, 
Hello. Okay. Jay? Yes. Jane sitting pretty? Yes. Uh, Hello? She was asking if you would like to uh, like for her to go into uh, the solar plexus and see what's going on there. Oh, yes. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's why um, I needed to upgrade that energy in the heart chakra. It's so you can drop down into the solar plexus and now step into the I am that I am energy. Um, because you're ready, you're ready to take that next step. Um, we just needed the connection between the heart and the solar plexus to be oh. in sync so you can tune in on a deeper level to your soul's higher plan. I felt okay. it coming in. Thank you. Yeah. My pleasure. Much love. Brian, over to you. All right. And Jay, so what I'm seeing here in the... Uh in the solar plexus now that everything is being uh has been connected and stuff. Uh the solar plexus and the heart chakra they're streaming in energy. And it almost looks like um uh it's almost looks like a uh streamers in a tree and there's different colors being blown by the wind and these stream uh these streams of energy are coming directly into the um, the heart chakra and the solar plexus chakra, and then what they do is they form a um, a infinity symbol, and this infinity symbol uh, is showing the connection between your heart and your creativity, blending and merging uh, your heart and your creativity. So it feels to me like. Uh, you're getting ready to get either go into a creative uh a creative expression uh that you're going to be expressing out in the phys- in the physical realm or you're going to be expressing something in um in an empathic way that is going to lead you further down the path where you're going to have to speak your divine truth. All right, and they are going cryptic on this, uh, and they are saying, <laughs> for you, all you must do is put one foot in front of the other and follow the path. Hmm, okay, follow the path that the ladybug leads you. All right, and that does not make any sense for me. <laughs> um, because it's cold here, and ladybugs are not around, but maybe that will make sense, sense for you. Okay. It's cryptic for me, too, but I'll take it. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So I hope that uh, those messages uh, found you correctly this evening, Jay, and I appreciate you calling in and being a uh, I'm number one caller here on the Imagical Journey Show. Thank you so very much, and much love to you. Let angel inside your dreams. Blessed be, and namaste. Okay. Thanks. Bye. All right. Area code 708, and then we are going to continue our interview with uh, with Sophia and Rachel. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hello. Um, who do we have the pleasure of speaking with? Nicole. Okay, Hi, Nicole. What would be um, your question? My, my question is, um, when do you see uh, me getting a job? Um, I've been unemployed for a while, and um, the I was at a, two jobs before that. I, le- I had left that job on a good note, but now they're hiring, so... Um, I'm trying to see if I really want to go back to that job. Um, And I'm trying to see how do you see that outcome or do you see me getting something totally different and when? Okay. Rachel, what you think? You want to take this or you want me to? Yeah, no, I'd love to. Um, So when I tuned into your energy and put that job into your energy body, um, 
it's a little bit off sync and I think there's something better for you. Well, yeah, there is. Um, so, but that door is still, it's not closed. It, the, the energy hasn't broken off from that job and it's actually holding you in there. Can I just cut that cord for you? Yes. Okay, so just um, ground down to your feet in the earth. Go into your heart. Te e si ana te e ku ana te e si ana te ku ya si e te. So then, after that release, um, which is it, it didn't let you be um, that bright spark that you are, that job. It was it was putting a lid on it. Um, so now when I go in to the new possibility, it takes me straight down to the womb, into the sacral, and into that um, that goddess energy. So I feel it's something um, creative that you need to be allowed to be you. Um, that is what I'm getting because when I um, sit in there and sit in that womb energy, um, all of your chakras balance and the heart flicks on. Um, and I will hand over to Brian for him to go deeper into that. Okay, so the cold sweetheart, you are definitely that of a nurturer and a creative being. You are that uh, uh, you are that maiden mother and uh, crone energy. All right, so as uh, all three of those energies right there completed into one, you are the standard wise woman energy. So you would work very well within uh, within the energies of creation. Uh, or with the energies of uh, healing, okay? And I directly see that this um, particular energy that you are, um, that you have been unemployed for for, for quite some time, is something that um, that is holding you back uh, from actually your life purpose. You think that your uh, your career is mon- uh, is mundane, but it's actually Something to do with uh, with creation and coaching. So I'm seeing that there's this um, there's this healing um, mechanic to you. So with her saying that uh, that your energy lies within the womb, that speaks of uh, of the divine feminine, the divine energy, seeing healer energy, heal, um, uh, either. Uh, Schooling is getting ready to come up or classes are getting ready to come up uh, and there is going to be a job that kind of kind of pays the bills while you're going through the schooling to eventually go into the uh, career that you're supposed to go into. But um, I will say that that uh, career is uh, what's or I will say that that job is going to get you by while you're going through the schooling. All right. And I see this at least by... Um, the ending of January, if not sooner. Oh, okay. You see the job coming for me? Yes, I do see the job. Uh, I do see a job coming for you. Uh, uh, in between, uh, well, in between now and uh, the ending of January, uh, or if not sooner. Okay, so you got uh, you got a window of two months. Of the rest of December and um, until the ending of January, so you got some uh, you got some leeway here. You you have some options, um, so you just need to continue looking. But I will tell you that you definitely need to go with your cash. Okay. Okay. All right, and um, Rachel, uh, can you give her your mm-hmm. contact information just in case she wants to get a yeah. more in-depth session with you? Yeah, I'd love to. So you can just find me at thediamondpath.com.au or on um, Facebook, Rachel Tuano, The Diamond Path. 
Okay, and you can contact with me at 586-659-9620 or at www.imagicaljourney.com. And thank you for calling this evening, uh, Nicole, and I hope we answered your question. Yes, thank you. You're thank very, you. very welcome. Okay, so... Rachel, so um, I have a uh, a question for you. So, um, yeah. so with talk, tell us a little bit about your training with talk. What did it entail, and uh, and what was the five year journey like? Yeah, quite amazing. And um, um, so, talk took me through. Um, activating and remembering my macabre and um, through that I would um, well the macabre is the light body the vehicle that the light body travels um, so he used to take me um, to chambers where Lord Melchizedek would always greet me um, with the Brotherhood of Light and there the different teachers would come um, to me and I would be guided to different parts um, different rooms and there I would um, uh, sit with um, Mother Mary Jesus um, and many other teachers and they would um, talk to me and teach me and, and, and train me in the beginning I just thought I was meditating um, and going on these beautiful journeys um, but all the pieces of the puzzle sort of came together and I realised in hindsight what was actually happening um, throughout that, that five-year sort of period. Um, so, yeah, and it was, you know, a lot of thanks to you that I was able to put all those pieces together and um, step out and bring all that information through and, and give it to other people. Well, I feel so proud because it's like seeing uh, seeing my little baby uh, come from underneath my wings. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have to say I am very, very proud of you. I am very proud of you. Um, but uh, we do have some uh, we do have some more callers that are waiting on uh, waiting on the line for uh, for us, Rachel. So we're going to go right directly back to our phone callers. And our next phone caller is area code 216, area code 216. Hi, Brian. How are you? Hello. How are you? What is your question, hey. dear? What's your name? Happy holidays. My name's Sharon. Hey, Sharon. Hello. And your question? Hi. Hi. It's a career question like I think we're following suit this evening. Um, I know, right? I, I know. Full, oh boy, I'm trying to change careers and um, I wondered if you see me getting an offer soon. I have two interviews next week, full house boy, working and going and interviews. So do you see me getting an offer soon or what do you see with that? Right, you want to uh, take this or you want me to? I'll go with you. I, yeah, I oh, think um, you answer first, and then I'm going to just sit back and read the energy body, if that's okay. okay all right, wonderful. wonderful. So, Sharon, what, all right, so I, I'm, still, I'm still stuck on that middle of the month or middle of December with you getting the, this job. Um I keep on seeing in between uh, December uh, or the numbers 15 through uh, uh, through 15 through 23, 24 for some reason, and I don't know exactly why. Okay. Let me see if oh. I can see something here. All right, 15. Okay, so yeah, that would. Uh, that would go right directly where it is needed to be. So uh, I'm gonna say within two weeks, darling, you're uh, you got yourself uh, something going on here. Um, so I really do feel as if uh, as if it's kind of uh, like a almost like a comforter um, because I get really comfortable. I get really comfortable when I tell you. Um, hmm, Two weeks max, darling. Two weeks max. Hold in there. Hold tight. 
The one Monday is the one I really want. But they're both they're both really good jobs. Okay, just All right, the best one, one Monday that you really want? Mm-hmm. All right, you really want that one? So let's do, go ahead and um, bring that one into your energy field. And I'm going to speak some light language around it and bring it into your uh, into your center and take a deep breath in. And take a deep breath in, bring that energy up and through your root chakra, your sacral, your solar plexus, your heart, your throat, your third eye, down into your weather dream. Up and out the crown chakra, doubling back into the fourth eye, being down into the pineal gland, all the way down the shushama, activating the eight up with the as the perineum. And take a deep breath in. All right, and just keep thinking, I have this, I have this, I have this. Yes, I have it. And I have the energy, too. I'm working overtime. I know. I will have the energy, and I'm going to get the job. Brian, thank you so much. I know. You are very welcome. Let's see what, uh, what Rachel came up with. Rachel? Hi. Well, yes, I was tuning in sort of to the energy body at the back, um, and it took me straight to your back. And right in the center of the back, there was there's a, a block of energy. So the energy is coming up from the earth, but it's stopping midway in the back. So I'd like okay. to clear that if you if if I can. And you're also shouldering a lot of other people's stuff because it sits like two. Um, they're like paddles How does it over your. I know. Oh my goodness! Love- that just weigh you down. <laughs> It it wait I right. know there's a lot it's just gossip it's just I, it's so annoying I know I I sit by yeah. myself I I but, oh, I just can't stand it but go on yeah yeah get rid of it <laughs> yes it's yes, annoying to me to. very annoying um, yes so um after this once I've cleared it you'll be able to draw up from Mother Earth and bring it right okay. up to the heart at the moment it's stopping at the back around your belly button. So let me just go in and clear that. Oh, it's so funny that you picked up on it. Today was one of those days. <laughs> it is. Yeah, and you're above that. You're above that. Uh, yeah. yeah. Breathe in. Okay, so that's flowing beautifully. A Kundalini activation would be really good for you and beneficial if that's something you'd okay. like it going forward. Um, but just remember, when you are hearing that, and um, when you're an empath, it's really easy to take and put it on your shoulders. What I want you to do going forward is just breathe a little protection bubble around you and then hand it back to them. Um, Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but what are you going to do about it? You know, see how it changes the energy from you taking it off them? Yeah. Oh, they just talk them. about all their problems. It's just, oh, I know we all have them. I know. I know. (laughs) I know. So protect yourself um, because... Yeah, it's it's not serving you and it's not serving them because of their okay. problems because they'll just go and recreate that same problem um, because they missed out on the lesson. Got it. That's okay, so perfect. Okay, so just draw up from the earth and and do your little protection and um, that's all cleared off the energy body. So you should feel a big weight off your shoulders. 
Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. Lovely to speak with you. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Okay. Bye, Brian. Bye, darling. Thank you for calling in. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so we're going to go directly into our next phone caller. Our next phone caller is an error code 808. 808, first name, please, and question. Hi, Brian. It's Deanne. How are you? Hey, Deanne. What is your question? My question is, well, I just wanted to see what Rachel and Sophia had to tell me. My spirit guides told me to make sure I talk to them. All uh, right, Rachel, right. you go. <laughs> I really, um, actually, before you um, came online, I saw you um, as a little girl. So um, uh-huh. I would, I would like you to go back in and nurture yourself. Um, especially at the age of three, um, there was a few um, things that became a default in your foundation um, from that time frame of three. And so I'd like you to go in there if you can at a later time and maybe do a meditation and okay. just remember yourself at three. Um, and then I'm just going to give you, send you a little bit of energy now. So I'd like you to just send to yourself. Um, So then at a later point, you can remember the energy you felt um, and bring that into your meditation, okay? So just take a deep breath in. Deep breath in and feel your feet on the earth. Okay. Take a deep breath up to your heart and stop it in your heart. Just sit in your heart for a moment and open up to the energy that we're sending you. Feel the lightness come into your heart. Yeah. And that softness. Yes. Okay, so um I'm just gonna bring in the three year old. So she too can feel that that um soft energy because that is what she needs. She needs to feel supported and loved and heard. Okay, so I'm just going to connect her into your heart. Okay. Okay. And if you would like to work further with me, um, just get in touch and... um, but I want you first to sit in that meditation and see what comes up from your heart and yourself. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, there's many layers in there, but the key is three. Okay. Yeah, right. I, I definitely, I definitely remember as a three-year-old. I remember what she looked like and everything. So. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And thank you so much, uh, Deanne, for calling in. I uh, hope uh, Rachel and Sophia uh, helped you. And you have a blessed evening. You too, Brian. Thank you both so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. So area code... Um. Hmm. Okay. Area code seven one six. Area code seven one six. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. How Hi. are you? My name. My name's Belinda. Well, can we help Hello. you? With Hi. How are you? Um. How can I just have a more direct? Uh, clear telephone line to my galactic family and my guides. Hi. Um, before um, you tuned in, I went straight to the crown. Um, 
and yes, you could do with a few energy upgrades in the in the the crown chakra because it's yeah. eager to expand a little more. Um, so I'm, I'm Brian can help you with that at a later date, or I can. Um, but it's definitely working with your crown um, and the penile gland. Um, there's still a little bit of calcification there. Um, but as long as you bring that all into the heart, you are going to um, expand more than you can imagine at this moment in time. Um, and I'm really excited for you. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, I really am. Like it's as long as it's connected into the heart. Um, yeah, I see you going right out there, um, but beyond where you think is is possible. Um, we are all multidimensional, um, and I feel you you see that, um, but it's going to be bigger than you know. Um, so it is very exciting. So, <laughs> Brian, do you want to elaborate on that? Thank you. Thank you. I told you, friend, I needed it. <laughs> it's an interest, darling, and all you have, uh, and everything else will unfold. Yes, yes, yes. But how do I, what What should I do to decalcify my pe uh, pineal gland more now? All right, you want to eat, you want to try to stay away from uh, fluoride. All right, you want to change toothpaste. You want to change deodorant. You want to change um, mouthwash. You also want to try to get you a water, um, a water um, filtration system. Because yep, I don't, um, I don't do fluoride though. I I use organic toothpaste, Himalayan salt for my deodorant. I have a well. You know, I'm in the country, um, so I don't drink fluorinated water. Okay, that's good, that's good. Now, mm -hmm. uh, listen to sophageal frequencies to bust up the rest of the calcification. The calcification is uh, is um, is basically um, busted off by frequencies. And here's okay. a little bit of frequency to bust up some uh, energy around the, um, around the pineal gland and the calcification. All right, so take a deep breath in, and this is for anybody and everybody. Take a deep breath. Okay, thank you. Two, Brian. All right, and just take a deep breath in and just allow for on um, the release to blow out all energetic uh, uh, energies that do not, no longer need to be in the pineal gland on the breath out. And there you go. All right, now just sit with that and continuously ask, command, command for our spirit to uh, release the calcification, okay? Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. You are very, very Thank you. Very much. I thank you very much. Thank you. Can I just add um, some selenite crystal on your third eye? Is um, oh, true. Is your third eye begging for it? Yes, yes. Thank you. Okay. Have a great evening. Thank you so much. You are very thank welcome. You, Love you both. Thank you. You're thank welcome, you. dear. All right, so I hope we, uh, I think we only have uh, one last uh, caller or a chance for one last caller, maybe two. Let's see. Area code 530. Area code 530, first name and question, please. Hello, this is Amethyst. How are you? 
Hello. Hi. Um, I wanted to know if you see me moving anytime soon and making a more abundant living. I see you skipping in whatever direction. Um, so it's joyful. Um, what I like to do and um, when I have opportunities or if I come to crossroads in life is I sit and I almost put the opportunity over me like a coat mm. and I sit in it and try and feel it. And the, the, the direction that gives me the most joy or um, it, it grounds me and I feel more centered, that mm-hmm. is the, um, that's the direction I take. Um, when I heard your voice and I, I tuned into your energy, I saw you skipping in joy. So is there a, a direction that you already have in mind? Wow. Um, not really. I've basically been traveling by guidance, like kind of seeing where I'm needed. Um, oh, so you're already um, skipping around and, and going oh. to where you need to be. <laughs> but um, now I'm wondering, um, I just kind of feel like, where I am may not be for my highest good right now. So I was wondering if you saw anything coming up like in the near future. I do, and I see a large body of water. Do you connect on a deeper level than most to water? I love water. Yeah, and you... um, you actually have a beautiful ability because water is such a great conductor of energy. I'm actually seeing you on a near a body of water like a lake um, and you you can send that frequency um, to water. You have a beautiful connection, a deep connection with water. So know that you um, can do that. When you um, sit by a lake, send it love because you're... Um, it's it's really powerful and it's beautiful and it's a gift um, to be able oh, wow. to do that on the level that you can. Um, so I do. I see you really really happy near a, a body of water. Um, that's what I'm getting. It grounds you, but it also gives you the um, the motion to um, to be who you are. So mm. um, that is what I would like to offer you this evening. Wow. Thank you. Is that like an ocean or like a lake? I, I see more a lake. It's a it's a gentle flow. I don't I don't see the waves or that that power behind the ocean. I feel um yeah, it's definitely a lake. It's the stillness. Wow. Um, um, but I feel when you when you sit there and you send that love to the lake, it's it's going to be a really big lesson, um, and it will open open you up in a whole new way. It's oh, very wow. soft and very beautiful. Um, so sit with that. Um, and the the book, Many Messages of Water, um, is, huh. would also be a really good read. It just gives you the science behind um, how water is a conductor of, of right. energy. But, um, yeah, very beautiful. Oh, thank you. All right, and I will add that I see a move in about uh, about the month of uh, February or March. Oh, wow, mm-hmm. okay. So this is like very, very soon, and uh, I see right towards the ending of February into the month of March. So it seems as if uh, possibly you finalize the move in February, and then you finally finish up uh, setting everything up in the uh, in the new place in, uh, towards the first uh, two weeks in March. So uh, oh, wow. I definitely see something um, popping in for you. So definitely keep your uh, head up for that, and uh, and I hope that uh, answered your question. Yes, thank you. Thank you. You are Bye. very very welcome. Okay, bye. Bye, dear. 
Okay, so we do not have time for another uh, caller, but I do have to say that uh, we got through many callers this evening. Um, Rachel, it was uh, an absolutely lovely time uh, having you on the Magical Journey Show. Maybe you can uh, be a regular guest on the Magical Journey Show if you choose uh, so choose to. Um, one more time, can you give um, your um, your contact information out to the callers? Yes, I'd love to. Um, thediamondpath.com.au or you can find me on Facebook, Rachel Tawano, T-E-W-A-N-O. It's a bit of a hard one, um, The Diamond Path. Um, so, yes, and it would be my honor to join you guys again. I've had so much fun and, um, yeah, it's been beautiful. Thank Wonderful. you very much, Brian. You are very, very welcome, Rachel, and it was a pleasure having you this evening. Um, I look forward to having you on the show uh, tons more because uh, once the Magical Journey show uh, returns in 2017, um, we will be showcasing some very, uh, very interesting guests uh, and you are included as one of them, uh, Rachel. So um, I just want um, to um, tell everyone that um, definitely do go check out my uh, wonderful uh, friend, Rachel Tawano, at thediamondpath.com.au. And that is P H E D I A M O N D L I G H T P A T H dot com dot au and you can catch me everyone at www dot amagical journey dot com and that is a m a g i c k a l j o u r n e y dot com you can also call me at the office at five eight six six five nine nine six two zero you can also go to my uh, blog at www dot b r y a n r a w l s or find me on Facebook at Brian Rawls hyphen Dolder and find me on Facebook. And thank you everyone for uh, joining me this evening on the Magical Journey Show. And I am your host, Reverend Brian Rawls. And there, um, thank you very, very, uh, very, very much. And let angel wings guide your dreams. Blessed be and namaste. Bye everyone. Bye. You know what's great? Going to a game. You know what's not great? Parking at a game. With Uber, you can turn event parking into a non-event. Just install the Uber app. Into your destination, confirm your location, and within minutes, a car will pick you up. I know, right? With upfront fares, you can know the price before you go. And you pay with the Uber app so you can save your cash for the souvenir shop. So make tonight a fun night. Install the Uber app now and take your first ride today. Uber, the better way to get there.